What's going on everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome to Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I've been wanting to play this game for so long and I've had a painful time trying to get it to work here. I have been trying to play this game for YouTube for so long and it just never happened. I, uh, I was having a really difficult time getting my recording set up to work and I think after pulling my hair out for the longest time, I think I finally got it working here. This is, uh, this is such an awesome game, and I've been wanting to play it for so long, and I'm so glad that I finally am, because it, uh, it has a very special place in my heart, and <clears throat> I've actually got some stuff written down on a sheet of paper here that I was going to talk about during this, so I've, uh, oh shoot, <laughs> I just touched the microphone on accident. Sorry about that. Um, also, if I sound a little distant from the microphone, that's that's going to be changed. Um, I uh, I ordered a new microphone stand, and in a perfect world, I should be able to sound a little bit better with it because uh, I should be able to get the microphone a smidge closer to my <clears throat> a smidge closer to my face. But uh, anyway, I've uh, I've just been a huge fan of this game for almost as long as I can remember. This this game is so good, and uh, I was int introduced to it by my brother, actually. And it's just a fun game. It's, uh, it's, it's a good classic sort of RPG. It's got that good feeling um, of a classic game whenever you play it. I, I have major nostalgia for the game, too, so there's that as well. But it's, uh, it's just a, a gorgeous game. It's one of those games that I can sit here and talk about how good it is for hours, probably. Although I'd rather not. Um, and here's our main character. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, there's an argument between Titus and Titus. I've always called him Titus, but apparently his name is actually Titus, from what I understand. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Final Fantasy X. So, just to talk a little bit about how much I love this game, because I really do love this game, I uh, have this game. This is my fourth copy of the game that I've bought. And I almost bought it for a fifth time recently. I had this game on PlayStation 2 when my brother bought it for himself. And I sort of stole it from him and I started playing it on my own. And then I bought it for myself on the PlayStation 3 whenever the HD remaster of it came out. Like in 2013, so like almost six years ago, I think. And then... I bought the HD remaster again for myself on the PlayStation Vita, which I still have my Vita. I don't play it pretty much at all, but I do still have that device. And then finally, I bought it again for myself for the PlayStation 4. <laughs> so it's it's been kind of a journey to say the least, but it's uh, it's it's also been pretty awesome. I cannot deny that. Can you sign this? No prop. All right, so we're gonna leave ourselves as Titus or Titus. I'm gonna call him Titus. Uh, I couldn't think of a better name for him. All righty. Me too. <laughs> Take it easy. And there we go. Of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row. Fifth from the right. Got it. And with that, we're well, moving forward. Gotta go. Cheer for me. So as many times as I've played this game, 
yeah, whatever, screw off. Hey, I, um, I got a game I've, to play. I've played this game at Look, least, like, two dozen Maybe times. I've played tonight, this game um, a bunch of times, and I love this game. Tonight. I really do. But I mean, that tomorrow. doesn't take away from the fact Promise? that it's got its issues. It's definitely Promise. not a perfect RPG. Um, although it is very close to it. Like, one of the big things that I don't... I still don't understand why they didn't include it in this game. But Square Enix never put the ability to skip cutscenes in this game. I still don't understand why. Because if you look at Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 and, and 2.5... And or I guess really 1.5 and 2.5, they have the ability to skip cutscenes, and that's never really been an issue. And then, in this game, they just have completely refused to do it. It's kind of weird, honestly. Look at how big his lips are! Speaking of that, actually, um, that's a comment from Nintendo Capri Sun that he did on his Let's Play. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, <laughs> didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, 10 years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. I love that scene. There's something about it that just hits that nostalgia bone. Anyway, what I was getting to though is that uh, they never added the ability to skip cutscenes in this game, and I was really thinking it would be pretty fun to play through this game again if I could skip the cutscenes. But I thought, you know, if I can't skip the cutscenes, and I'm gonna have to sit through them and watch them again to be able to play this game. I figure it wouldn't hurt for me to just throw my commentary into the mix as well and provide some insight about the game. And uh, I actually will mostly shut up for this cutscene just because this one's pretty cool.
would be um, pretty cata cataclysmic, to say the least. That would be a, a tough thing to deal with, that's for sure. Now we kind of get some real gameplay here. Now, like I said before, I've played this game many times, so I have a good feel for most everything. But I still haven't actually beat the Dark Aeons, and I still haven't beat Penance. Or really done a lot of the other side quests outside of... Uh, I, I have gotten the Celestial Weapons before, but outside of getting those, I haven't really gotten a whole lot else done in this game. Except, in the PlayStation 2 version of this game, I did beat Omega Weapon. But in this game, the Omega Weapon and the Omega Ruins are a lot harder. It begins. Um, they're, they're both the Omega Weapon and uh, the other weapon, I can't remember what it's called, are uh, very, very powerful. <clears throat> so, in order to, you know, get the most that I can out of this game, I'm actually using a guide here that I found on, um, Game Facts. Hey, wait! Hey, not this way! Look. Oh, get out of our way already. Aha, here we go. So this is... He... <laughs> he says it's a gift from his father. A gift from Jack. My old man? But what, what's funny about this weapon is that it's maybe the most useless weapon in the whole game. I hope you know how to use it. Alright, here we go. So this is our first kind of real fight. It don't matter. We cut through. And just as Oren said, we're just gonna cut through. So the battle system in this game is very different from any other Final Fantasy, and I I do enjoy it. It's not turn-based like Final Fantasy IV, but it is still technically turn-based. Just in a kind of a different sense than what you might normally expect out of a turn-based system. And this early on in the game, Cut the ones that matter and run. it really just it isn't really worth it to, to concern yourself too much with, like, trying to min-max any of these fights. We were really just kind of focusing on getting through the fight, and really the easiest way to do it is just push the X button to attack. <laughs> That's really about it. Aha! And here's our first boss. But, we're gonna have to save the actual boss fight for next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy... Oh, I love that line, by the way. Uh, on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. See you guys next time.